we go into all these games, you know, believing that um, it, it's going to be a 40 minute battle to the end. Um, you know, but but again, we were able to just kind of systematic systematically break them down um, in the second half. There, um, these guys are awesome. Do you feel like you guys have taken the intensity even up a notch in this tournament? Well, like, uh, like I said in in, in New York, um, you know, the the Big East is a monster. Um, the Big East is a monster, and um, iron sharpens iron. And yeah, I mean, we didn't have, you know, I don't know what our record is the last two years in non-conference games, uh, you know. But we feel like once we get out of that league, which is, you know, as good as any league in the country, it was, in my estimation, this year again, it should have been a six-bid league, um, and uh, you know, it's one. It was one of the two best leagues in the country. And uh, I just think the league, you know, prepares us for these non-conference games. It's like you hear, you know, I, I, I read a tweet last night, I think, from a former Illinois player, um, I don't know, Sean Harrington, or who's, who's a good player, is a McDonald's All-American, one of the staff members, wanted to add a little more fuel to my fire, a little, um, you know, something, you know, UConn has not had to play against, um, this physical a team, and they've never seen someone like Terrence Shannon, uh, something along those lines. And, uh, um, you know, statements like that are just asinine. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're going against uh, beasts and monsters every night in the Big East, and the Big East prepared us for teams like Illinois. Uh, Coach, what in the world did you tell these guys at halftime? I mean, we, 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 we didn't, or I don't know what they were thinking, but. Um, you know, we just had tremendous respect for for Illinois, the you know Brad and the, the program and the team, and you know I, I obviously would have been thrilled to just get out of here with a win. But um, you know our, our defense is elite, um, our offense is elite. You know we rebound the ball. Uh, these guys play every possession like it's the end of the world. Kamani and Luke prepare these guys with scouts. Uh, you know, at, at, at a quality level that uh, a, 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 any head coach in the country would be proud to put forth. Those two guys are amazing. And then, you know, we've got NBA level players that, you know, are just willing to share. And, uh, you know, they've created an unbelievable culture where we're, you know, we're, we're going to be tough to beat. Taryn Shannon has 29 points Thursday night. Tonight, you guys held him to eight points on two of 12 shooting. How's your kind of game plan for a player like him to shut him down tonight? Well, Steph has the size. Um, he's got the size. He's got the strength. He's, he's got the, the lateral quickness. You know, for for a guy that's five years, I think, he's probably five years older than Steph. Um, yeah, right. He's like five years older than Steph. Um, I mean, Steph just made it really, really tough on him. You know, he chased him off the line. Um, we did a great job in transition. One of his two buckets were. You know, it was a flash in transition. He got there so fast. And then, uh, you know, when, when, when uh, you know, whenever he did get the edge, you know, we had, we, we had rim protection there. You had Donovan there. You had Sampson there. Um, but, you know, Steph, you know, there's a reason why uh, in the basketball world, um, you know, people are as high on, on Steph as they are. He, he uh, you know, he's a winning player. And, uh, you know, and, and obviously he's you know, got an incredible career in the NBA ahead of him. Um, and, and he's uh, he's been the anti five star freshman. He just does whatever this team needs uh, for us to win. You know, again, we were picked closer to fourth than we were third in the Big East preseason polls by the coaches. Uh -huh. So you, we, we any external that you give us, um, you know, we, we we you know we heard the things the players were, were saying on the lead up to this one, and uh, you know as as defending national champs and what we've done done since last February and how we've played in this tournament, um, you know, we, we, we feel like we've earned a certain level of respect from media and opposing players when they face us right now um, because we've been that good. We've defied the odds this year, you know, just with past champions and losing everything that we lost from last year's team and having this giant target that we've carried the entire year, the UConn target plus the defending national champs target. Um, you know, plus we're a program. Our players have a lot of confidence and a lot of swagger and – um, and, and our fan base, again, is obnoxious, is on social, so everyone hates us. Um, 
<laughs> and uh, it was a chance to celebrate with them because uh, you know our fan base and, and this and our and our organization right now, um, you know it's it's an us against the, the world of college, of college basketball, and I wanted to celebrate with them a little bit.